I am in the most incredible Airbnb. There is this Spanish grandma here and I asked her if I could practice my Spanish with her. So she's been showing me around her wonderful place in Spanish. The house is nice, it's comfortable. There are all these cute decorations and special touches. There's a, a full kitchen we have access to, uh, our own private bathroom. Um, all of the necessities and everything's clean and nice, all of the basics, but also on top of that, she has made her own special place out in the garden using adobe. She's built a traditional Mexican kitchen. She's built um, just a spare bedroom for herself when she wants to just go out there and take time for her. She's um, created this wonderful bath that she can take special baths in. And then on top of that, she has built two sweat lodges, one to have guests in and one just for her. And um, she told me that she's gonna dress me up in traditional Mexican dress uh, so I can take pictures. And then tomorrow she's invited me into her sweat lodge. So I'm so excited. This Airbnb is super incredible. They have a, a nice house as well, but the outside is really amazing. So, the husband laid this walkway and then they planted vines and there's this arch here, which is gorgeous. And the walkway leads to a tradition, a traditional Mexican casita. Which is the wife of their grandma's little oasis out here. She has a traditional Mexican kitchen in here. She built the walls out of mixing the terracotta from around here. And made sort of stained glass windows just out of recycled bottles. So the light shines in beautiful different colors. Of course, she also has a stained glass window there and skylights and traditional ovens. And then through this door, there's another traditional oven here. When she heats it in the winter, she heats it with a wood fire. And then she's artistically laid these rocks in circle patterns. And it's um, good for your feet to walk on them. So it's like a foot therapy. And then she has these amazing temascales she built. One is for when she has more guests, she can hold somewhere around 14 people in here. <sighs> wow. Estas piedras se calientan afuera. Sí. Y luego cuando están muy calientes, las ponemos ahí, tapamos la puerta, la gente sentada aquí. Oh, and then when she just wants to do one herself, that one's for one or two people over there. Voy a poner esto. No, like, oh. Y este sí está chiquito para mí. ¿no? <laughs> Nada más que le, le dejé una ventanita para que se oxigene. Ajá. Y cuando nos metemos, tapamos la ventana y tapamos aquí la puerta. Y wow. Estamos where she mixes the terracotta for her projects. Impresionante. Nos entretenemos. They also have a fruit orchard. Una 
And she has a greenhouse for her, her Nepales, the prickly pear cactus. Uh -huh. See, Emil, and they made this fruit dryer. So this traps the heat from the sun and it travels into the fruit dryer. And she has all sorts of wonderful fruit drying in there. Okay, so Rosa roasts garbanzo beans in her traditional Mexican oven and then they grind them up and make coffee out of it and there's no caffeine and it's safe for kids. So Tristan wants to try it. Go ahead, Tristan. What do you think? It's good, but hot. Yes, <laughs> coffee is hot. So now I get to try it too. Mmm, very good. Very unique flavor. Mm -hmm.